we going to look briefly at a word that I entitled, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And that's the famous word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The first Bible reading is taken from St. Matthew 16, 13 to 19. And if anyone find it could do us the courtesy and read in St. Matthew 16, 13 to 19. Praise God. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, of one of the prophets, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I Sorry. will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. St. Luke 10, 17 to 24. The next Bible reading, St. Luke 10, 17 to 24. Praise his wonderful name. And 72. 17 to 24. And the return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I be a Satan, as a lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread and serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall in any means hurt you. 17 to 24. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. Amen. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast these things, hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes, and even so, Father. For so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal himself. Amen. And he turned, you said 24, and he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are eyes to see the things that you are seeing. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and of that heard them. Amen. Amen. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And again, I said that's the title of our message for today. The title of the sermon. I believe we all know 
who was speaking according to the writer of the book of St. Matthew. And for the benefit of those who don't know as yet, it was the Lord Jesus Christ himself who have said those very words. And we clearly see that he is the master builder. He is the one with the blueprint. The one with the design of all we want to build his church. And that the gate of hell shall not, will not prevail against it. Now the first question that you need to know the answer to is what is the church? Or who is the church? In the language of the Bible, the church is never being referred to as a building, a material building make up of brick and mortar. No, that is incorrect. The church is spiritual, yet it is physical. It is made up of people who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Many members, but one body. The church is the body of Christ. And Christ is the head of the church. We are members of his body. We are living stone that make up the spiritual house. And only priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. And that is what the church is. I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What is the gates of hell? Many scholars have their own interpretation of what they think it is. So in light of that truth, I also have my own idea, which I think it meant. I believe it meant the spiritual dark forces sent from the pit of hell to contend with the church of God in Christ. For the Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. And to back up my argument further, the Bible said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. So they are not physical weapons, but they are spiritual weapon. Christianity is spiritual. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The Bible said we were translated from the kingdom of darkness and brought forth into the kingdom of light. So the kingdom of darkness is Satan's domain. Hallelujah. Where you find the demon and the fallen angels, it is the kingdom of darkness. And he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. As I have said before, that is just my interpretation, a revelation and understanding in regarding to what I believe Jesus meant when he said, the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Amen. And could somebody please quickly go to the book? Of First Corinthians 12, and we are reading from verse 1 to 14. Amen. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Anyone? 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 14. Yeah. 
1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 14. And I read. Anyone? Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that we were Gentiles carried away onto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but of the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord, and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gift of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of Amen. miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit divide into every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of, of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail it. Jesus said he will build his church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It is true to say, man church will fail, but the church of the living God, the Lord Jesus Christ will not. Yes, sirree, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Why? Because it is invincible. It is indestructible. It is undefeatable. It is unstoppable. The church is marching on. It keep marching on. Empire comes and empire goes. Kings and throne will perish, but the church keep marching on. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he shed on our way. When we do his good will, he abide with us still. Will all who will trust and obey. I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will quickly go back into the word Acts 15. And I'm reading from verse 15 to 28. Amen. And to this agree the word of the prophet as it is written. After that I will return and I will build again the tabernacle of David which is fallen down and I will build again the ruin thereof and I will set it up that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentile upon whom my name is called. Say the Lord will do all these things. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentile are turned to God. Though that we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. For Moses of old time art in every 
city them that preach him. Being read in the synagogue every Sabbath day. Then it pleased the apostle and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, surname Bar Sabos, and Silas, chief men among the brethren. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders and virgins send greeting unto the virgin which are of the Gentile in Antioch and Syria and in Cilicia. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your soul, saying, He must be sacrificed. And keep the law to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazard their life for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have sent them, therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same thing by mouth. For it seems good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things. Amen. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I hope you are following my train of thought. And getting the drift of where I'm going with this message. Praise Master Jesus. For the responsibility. The construction of the church is not up to man. It is not up to you and me. Not up to any individual. We are not the one who draft up the plan of what the church ought to be. We are not the one who is the architect. We are all workers. We are all laborers. We are servants. We are not the one in charge. Although many believe they are. And maybe they are. And if that be the case. It is not the church of Christ that they are building. They are building their own enterprise. So this is an insight. Why so many so-called church fail? Because it was not Jesus that was building it in the first place. It wasn't his doing. It was man doing the one thing. Amen? Apart from Jesus. So it's born to fail. Again, I think I need to say that. If Christ is not in it, it is bound to fail. Many churches are so-called churches. They have put the Holy Ghost outside. <laughs> I leave the Holy Ghost out. Believing that they can do it by themselves. Whatever need to be done. And that is where they all have it wrong. You might be wondering what am I saying? Is it true? I surely believe from what I've heard from the Spirit himself. They have believed me out. What say the Holy Scripture? Christ is the head of the church. So if Christ is not the head over what you are doing, you are doing your own thing. What say the Holy Scripture? For as many as been led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Christianity is a life in this spirit. Amen. Christianity is a life in this spirit. Amen. And there's another Bible reading 
And I don't know if we have the time to read it. I think maybe I need to paraphrase it. In the book of Ephesians 1 verse, Ephesians 4, 1 to 16. Amen. When it was talking about, let us read part of it. For the benefit of those out there listening. Amen. I watching this telecast. I will watch this telecast. Ephesians 1. Can somebody, Ephesians 4, reading from verse 1, can somebody do us the courtesy of reading it? All right, I will take it from verse 3 going down. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bonds of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called of one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he said when he ascended, Upon I he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he has sent, what is it? But he also descend first into the lower part of the earth. He that descend is the same also that ascended up far above all heaven that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saint, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carry about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compact by that which every giant supply according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is a word of wisdom. Not every gathering or assembly of people professing to be church is church. Even when they are mentioning the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why we got to be wise. For you have the synagogue of Satan. And many churches that don't believe in the Holy Ghost. As the scripture reveal him to be. So they reject the ministry of the Holy Ghost. So any church without the Holy Ghost is not really a church. It is not the church of Christ. It is the church of man. Having a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof from such turn away. You can never fulfill. The purpose of God for your life without the Holy Ghost. They were told to wait in Jerusalem for the coming of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, I will send another comforter. Just like me, we shall be with you forever. Amen. We were told not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Not to resist the Holy Ghost. 
how to vex the Holy Spirit, how to quench the Spirit for this journey of faith can never be navigated without the Holy Ghost. For through Jesus Christ, we have access to the Father by one Spirit. And we were built for an habitation of God through that same Spirit. I'm still speaking on the topic, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I think at this junction in time, we need to stop and begin to pray based upon the things that we have heard so far. We need to lift up our voice and pray because he said he will send us another comforter that will be with us. And as my mom loved to sing, and I love to sing that song, and it's the Holy Ghost, we need you. Come, sweet spirit, I pray. Come in your strength and your power. Mm, come in your own special way again and say, Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Come, sweet spirit, we pray. Come in your strength and your power. Come in your own special way. There's a boxer. And this boxer named Tyson Fury. And yesterday I was listening to his testimony. It only goes to say that if you're sincere in your heart and you cry unto God, God will hear you. God will hear. Amen. God will hear. And we are believers. So I want you to lift up your voice. And whatever you think you need to cry out unto God in regarding today. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost help with our infirmities. Amen. So let us lift our voice and begin to pray. Father, we thank and we bless you once again. We praise and we glorify your mighty name. Yeah, we thank you for your Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Spirit of Truth. And we say we need your Holy Ghost to be more active in our life in the name of Jesus. To help us navigate the way, the pathway. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To assist us in the things that we need. In the name of Jesus to be done. Father, you said you will never leave not for sake that we my boldly say the Lord is our helper. Oh, may you help us this day in the name of Jesus as we have different issues, different needs that need to be met. Father, we ask for your divine intervention working unto our voice this day in the name of Jesus resolve the issues that need to be resolved. Address the matter that need to be readdressed in the name of of Jesus, perfect that which concerning us this day, we ask in the name of Jesus, Mashe Bibeleba, Mikaraba, Lebe Bakoto, Leba Bakaraba Samba, yea, you said the Spirit make intercession in accordance with the will of God. Even what we know not what we are to pray, as we are to pray, Mashe Bibeleba, Neba Baba, Ye Kalaba, Rankoto, Shabi Bibeleba, Limba Baba Shakaraba, La Bush. Holy Ghost, we need you, Masha Karaba Sataya. Holy Ghost, we need you, Masha Karaba Samba. Lord, we need your help, Makata Yakata. Yes, and help from your son. To worry in the name of Jesus, Masha Bibikete, locate us this day, Makataya, turn our situation.
nation around. In the name of Jesus, Mashe Bibli Balo Tobo Koto, Lebi Baba Kete Bibaba Koto, Mokunto Makoto Makinte Bibaba Kete, Mila Tashaka Laba. In Jesus, mighty. And ask some name. Let us pray for the people in Ukraine and the people of Russia in regarding to what is happening because this thing it may not affecting us directly now but no one can tell what tomorrow holds so like how we are free and have the opportunity to pray let us intercede on their behalf for who to tell maybe tomorrow we need them to intercede on our behalf so let us lift our voice and begin to pray in regarding to russia and ukraine issue let us pray Father, we thank you, we bless you, we praise, and we glorify your mighty name. You said if your people who are called by your name, Masha Kalalaba Samba, will humble themselves and pray, Mama She Bibi Kete, your house is being called a house of prayer for all nation, and you are bid us to come, Mashi Kete Kalalabo Soto. You say call upon you and you will answer, Mashi Bibi Bibi Balataye. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we intercede, and on behalf of Ukraine, yea, and on behalf of Russia, in regard to the crisis that is unfolding there, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I come to your mercy and your grace, my ship, be little be baba kente, be bo koto, le be balata ye lete, be be koto, she be be little be ba, we bring the situation, we present it before you, oh God, my ship, be be little be ba, la ba. Let your healing and be stretched forth over the nation in the name of Jesus. Mashe bibele biba baba ken nuto to boko to bibi balata mile biba luto so bibi lete bi lete bibi bibi lete biba koto lete biba kata bring them out of their dungeon, bring them out out of captivity in the name of. Jesus, rescue, heal, and deliver. In the name of Jesus, my shape, be be little be ba, my kente be, me le be ba, my kete be ba, mokoto, le be ba kata ye kete be ba loto so ba kete. I korobu soto shaba. We give you praise, so God, my shape, kalalaba, lamba shaka kalalaba sataye. I kalalaba sata shaka 